I wanted to do a couple more examples uh, on a video for you so that you can see the process in action, adding with dots and boxes. I'm going to do an example first here in base five. So hopefully you're getting used to that language. That means we're talking about a five to one machine. Any group of five will regroup as one dot to the left. Think for a moment about what digits we use in base five. There are exactly five digits. And so the digits we use, remember, um, um, remember we always need a zero for anything that any number system that has place value, that way we can have a zero placeholder that leaves us with four more digits, zero, one, two, three, and four. We will not have a five in base five as any group of five will regroup to the left. So let's take a look at an example. If I had something like three, zero, four, two in base five, and I wanted to add that, and I'm purposely going to stack these vertically, but you can write this horizontally as well. I want to add that to two, 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 three, base five. You can place these two numbers into the same base five dots and boxes structure and just kind of see what happens. So I used two different colors on the previous pages that you reviewed, and I'm going to do something similar here. So I'll write the first number in using my, my black pen, 3042. So I'd put three dots, zero dots, four dots, and two dots. Now you'll notice I didn't label the place values and it's because I don't really care so much what the place value is here. I'm not asking what is the value of this number in base 10, for example. I'm only asking what is the answer, the solution to the addition problem in base five. So I'm just going to work entirely in base five. So then I'm, I'm going to use uh, my red pen to do the second number, which is the two, 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 three. So it's two dots, two, two, and three. Now, if I remember my base five machine is that any group of five will regroup to one to the left. I can apply that here. So starting in the ones place, that's all the way to the right. Notice I have a group of five there that will explode or regroup and make one dot to the left. Now I have six dots, uh, excuse me, seven dots there. So again, I can circle a group of five there and that will explode and move one dot to the left. Um, three dots does nothing. So then I move to the last place value. There are five dots there. So those will also regroup or explode and move one to the left. So my solution really is just, well, what do I have in the dots and bo in, the, in the boxes at this point? I have one dot, I have zero dots, I have three dots, I have two dots, and I have zero dots. Remember, anything that's grouped or exploded, anything I've circled and crossed out is not considered to be anything left there. And so that my solution is just simply that code, one, zero, three, two, zero, base five. Let's do a secondary example, but maybe just a slightly faster. Okay, so let's say we have an example in uh, a little bit larger base. Let's try base eight. Okay, so that means any group of eight will explode and make one to the left. Uh, I'm going to do something a little bit lower in numbers now just to illustrate a point that I wanted to make after reviewing some of the work in the previous module. So let's take a look at the number seven, seven, six. Okay, seven, seven, six, base eight. I'm going to add just three to this number. So if you put seven, seven, six in this frame, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then one, two, three, four, five, six. When you're adding uh, a number like this, you're kind of almost going through the counting sequence, but you're adding three more into the ones place. So when I add those, I'll just use the red for illustration. I would add one and then two and three, but notice right here, I have the number 777. Seven, seven. If I add one more, I'm counting basically one more. I have this thing that looks like seven, seven, and then eight. Now remember, that's not really a number in base eight because there is no eight in base eight. We'll have to regroup that. So actually, if you regrouped right now at this point, you would actually have the number one, zero, 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 kind of interesting. Let's go ahead and add the third dot though. So that is seven, seven, six plus three more. Now, when we go through the process, circling any group of eight, we can see that we have a group of eight right there. It explodes and makes one dot to the left. A group of eight right there. It explodes and makes one dot to the left. And finally, another group of eight there that explodes and makes one dot to the left, leaving us with one, zero, 
zero one, which is our solution one zero zero one base eight. We do not need to move this to base 10. We are done with the calculation.